Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here with another little vlog FaceTime moment. I'm gonna try and keep this one brief. Hopefully my rambling doesn't take over, but we'll see how it goes. You guys normally know how this ends up. But it is all about and focused on the Nexus Minecraft minigame server and a lot, a lot of cool info to talk about. I'm gonna start off by saying and reminding you that the official launch party livestream is this Friday, October 18th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 3 a.m. So it's gonna be a 10 hour live stream of awesomeness. I'm super excited for it and I hope you dudes are as well. And uh, now with that said, I wanna give you a little bit more insight and information on the Nexus, what mini games we have, who's sponsoring us, who's in our staff, who's doing what, all that goo Gucci stuff. So let's begin with uh, our awesome, awesome sponsors who provide all the servers. It is MC Pro Hosting. And if you wanna get a server for yourself with 25% off, Easy peasy Japanese lemon squeezy. All you gotta do is use the code Nexus, and uh, you'll get 25% off your uh, your purchase, which is great. And uh, they're really awesome, friendly guys to work with. I'm really glad to have them on board with the team here on the Nexus. That is amazing. And uh, the next thing I want to mention is the four four other staff members besides myself who work with the Nexus. It's obviously Jerome. He and I are the uh, I guess the key figures behind promoting it and making sure that all you dudes are, are playing on the servers and loving it, you Bakas out there too, all the Benjamin Box, making sure you guys are having a blast playing on the servers. And uh, we also are behind some of the creativity behind it, like the minigame ideas, this, that, the other, all that good stuff. And then we also have Turk Melon, the head developer who develops the plugins, creates everything that you play on. He does all that. He is an evil genius. He's absolutely crazy. He's awesome. We also have Kyle who's behind the technical support. He sort of does all the server things behind the scenes, like sets it all up, makes sure it's lag free, does all this fancy connection administrative stuff that I don't really know how it works, but it does. And then of course there is Pete, who uh, is in charge of all the moderators, he's the head admin on the server. He's really, really awesome, I love the guy. I've known him for years, he's awesome to work with. Just are as Kyle and Turk, I've known them both for actually over a year now. Kyle, I've known him for two years. And it's, it's just been a ride, it's been crazy and awesome working with these guys the last couple of months here. Getting everything set up and in place. And it is going to be spectacular, the launch this Friday at 5 p.m. Look out for that, absolutely. And now to let you know what minigames we're going to be starting with, we only have four to begin with. And we have a lot of other little features that are, are going to be implemented as well that aren't games themselves, but that are definitely going to be awesome. Like Team Fortress style things where you have like hats and different wardrobe items that you can unlock by doing various tasks and completing things. It's going to be really, really cool, those sort of little subtle features. And then the minigames themselves that we're launching with, I should probably have jumped right into that, but I am a rambling man as you know. So the four minigames we're starting with is, of course, Hunger Games. That is the big main staple. There's going to be plenty of servers to play on there. So Hunger Games, the Nexus Hunger Games, which has the uh, the in-game shops, the mutation passes, all that good stuff you're used to seeing on the fridge is now imported there. And as a reminder, the fridge is finished. It doesn't exist anymore. I'm so sorry if you're someone who was excited for that and really liked it. The Nexus is the same thing, only a hundred times better. So I don't know how you could complain about that. So that's Hunger Games, the big one. We also have Battle Dome, the automated plugin of it, which is really, really sweet. We have Capture the Flag, which the name kind of gives it away, but you get various classes that are really, really cool. You're going to be seeing some videos of that pop up on Drone on my channel in the near future once the Nexus is fully launched. And then we also have Capture the Wool slash Race for Wool, which has uh, both the single lane maps where you PvP against each other, as well as the dual lane maps where you're trying to get the, uh, the walls and complete your monument before the other team. So it's all automated, all really awesome. And uh, those are the four starting mini games. We do have plans to include a really, really amazing custom survival server where you can play with your friends, you know, create your own cities and stuff. We also have plans for a Pixelmon, perhaps. I don't want to give too much on that one. I want that to be a little bit more of a surprise when it and potentially happens. I can't guarantee anything. You'll see. You'll have to wait and see. And we also have plans to have our own little mini game arcade section, as well as add more, I guess, major games like Hunger Games and Battle Dome, Capture the Wool, and Capture the Flag. Like at that tier of mini games down the road. But the arcade section is going to be sweet, where we have lots of smaller games that are, you know, quick five minutes or less to play. And I'm really stoked for that. I'm excited for that. So no dates on any of those yet, but I just want to let you know what our plans are for the Nexus. Uh, in terms of mini games and, and features we're going to include. We're also going to have a, a social system, which we did have, but you know some, some technical problems happened and occurred, so we couldn't have that ready for launch, but it's really not important. Bottom line is, this Friday, October 18th at 5 p.m., you want to tune into the live stream. Mine is going to be from Twitch TV slash Beijing Canadian, and I believe Jerome will be hosting his own as well, his own perspective. We'll both be in my basement hanging out here and, and live streaming like crazy, but 
If he can't get uh, his rolling, it'll just be on mine. But hopefully we'll get both of our streams so you can see both perspectives and both of us going crazy and wild and whatnot. And it's going to be absolutely insane. 10 hours of our insanity. I, I, I don't really know what else to say, except make sure you tune in and check it out. And the final thing that I want to say is go over to the website, link in the video description, the nexusmc.com, and make sure you register. Because if you don't do that sooner rather than later, Friday is going to be super hectic with, you know, 25, 30, 40, who knows how many thousands of people watching the live stream, trying to play and trying to register on the site. So you want to do that in advance. I'd highly suggest you do so. Link in the video description. It's super easy. You go create your account. If you don't have one with Engine already, you just make a new one. Super simple. And then what you're going to want to do is follow the instructions and uh, you'll get a registration code which you punch into the site after you've done that through your Minecraft client. Really easy. Just follow the instructions on the website. You can't screw it up, I promise. And then you'll be all set able to buy things on our site, able to play whenever you want, able to be a general baller, post in the forums, all that good stuff. So it's going to be dank. It's going to be super awesome. I am so excited if you can't already tell. And uh, I'm going to leave it here. I tried not to ramble. I wanted this to be five minutes or less, but I will take seven minutes. That is good enough for me. And uh, on that note, I will see you dudes all on Friday with the live stream and Hunger Games 200 tomorrow. Look out for that one, and I'll see you all later. Take care.